Hi everyone, it's Athena. Welcome back. Okay, we are now, gosh, closing up June, so close. Um, today's Tuesday, the 25th of June, 2019. And the message for today, let's see. Let me see if, what I hear. The message is, I just heard, trust your gut. Don't question it, trust it. So if you have, that's why I felt, I just felt it. Like if you have a feeling, a sense of something, trust it. So sometimes this happens to all of us where we're like, was that for real? You know, did I really like, or did I make it up, you know? Trust it. Your body is your navigator. Okay, let's see what, what else. <clears throat> I'm also hearing, which is funny, to be or not to be, that is the question. I have no idea why. Okay, to be or not to be, that is the question. Okay. All right, let's get started. Let's see what the universe wants to reveal for us for today. Okay. Wow. Okay, so this is very appropriate for what we're all experiencing right now, which is getting into a retrograde season with cancer season to add fuel to the fire, but it's good. You can see um, the angels are, the angels are telling you to trust in what you're feeling. Um, don't judge yourself for um, thinking that it's not real, okay? Yeah, just believe that what you're feeling intuitively is actually for reals, okay? Let's see what else. I also see a mirror. This is like a hologram, I see. I feel this is like a hologram. It, it look, you know, I mean, it, I know it doesn't really look real, you know? And then we have the two... Um, The, the two male uh, energies here holding a circle, yeah? Okay, so this is the circle of life, okay? And how, and they're, they look like, the angels look like they're, this hologram is literally going in circular motion. Okay, and the sun is out and we have wings. Okay, so let's trust, totally trust our gut. Okay, trust what you're feeling. See, look at feeling it and not needing to see it to be real. You don't need to see it. Her eyes are covered. There's no, the hologram. It's just a hologram. It's an illusion, okay? The illusion of life is a hologram and we don't need to see it, we need to feel it. Okay. Oh my goodness, we have, oh. King of Wands reversed. All right, so the King of Wands reversed is a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius. But this energy, okay, this male energy is, is quite uh, out of their element. What, what do I mean? Well, they're clearly, they're clearly not using... 
they're clearly not using their gut to move forward and navigate their life. Not understanding how the universe works, right? Not seeing it, not feeling it. So what, hap what happens? Our creativity gets, you know, stumped, I'm hearing. It's all about being creative. I mean, this is the, this is the master of drive and ambition. Let's go. Let's get it going. I'm really enthusiastic. Yeah. And creative and emotional and sensual. But when this king is reversed, we're talking, you know, harsh. Because that turns into the blockage of it, which is domineering, aggressive. Yeah. You know, um, anger for sure. Feeling an injustice. Having anxiety. Okay. So. The energy of the King of Wands, again, it's Aries, Leo, Sag, if you have it in your chart. If you don't, it's fine. Know that if you don't go with the flow of life, the circle of life, if you don't understand that you don't need to, you don't think about it, just feel your way through. Feel your way through life. Otherwise, you're, you're going to end up feeling this anger and anxiety and maybe some shame going on here and being indecisive clearly there's indecision okay why because you're not you're not understanding the illusion of life and we all are in it and if you feel your way through then you perhaps you won't have to feel this, you know, indecisive anger and that people are doing injustices all around you, circling, you know, the wolves circling, right? Um, so, so this is um, someone who is feeling totally out of their element. See, no passion, no drive, definitely no sex, right? No enlightenment. The behind here, the, the um, mountain has erupted. There has been a shakeup, a shakeup to no avail of this energy feeling like it's, it can move, you know, in a positive, passionate way. The changes that need to be made here is in your, in the way you feel. Because it's all about feeling here and not seeing it. You don't need to see what you feel. What you feel is, is felt, not seen. Seen through the third eye, okay? If you understand that. It is a third eye. It is from the third eye, which is a feeling. It's your intuition, okay? It's your third eye brow, chakra, with the intuition that you utilize to navigate through life. Um, this also energy, this energy is also judging themselves for their past, for their past, I have to say it, indiscretions. Okay. It came out and it has to be said. Let me pull one more here. I'm, see, there it is. So there's a lot of internal, it's competitive this person feels competitive, feels totally out of whack. With these three cards, this is, this is a f anger, competition, um, very aggressive, domineering, you know? This is like very aggressive. I mean, I'm feeling this really aggressive. And to the point where it takes shape in the form of indecision. When you're that aggressive, you're going so on the scale, right? The positive to the negative. So in, on the horizon, this king of wands is totally to the limit limits of this on the scale of, you know, anger, possessiveness, 
all of that anxiety because they are not following their gut. What the universe is trying to relay to them. They can't make a decision if for anything because, and it's good that they don't actually. You don't want a king of wands reversed making a decision right now with anybody. Everyone is fighting, fighting yourself, fighting others. You're having either an internal battle or you're battling others externally. You're not following your gut. You're not following what the universe wants you to, to feel your way through this decision. If you need to make a decision, you're not making it. And I think it's a good, it's a good thing because there's no, there's so much aggressive behavior here that making a decision would end up, you'd make the wrong decision. So that's why it breeds going from one extreme to another. It, it ends up and it ends up into an indecisive, not going with the flow of life. Okay. Not even, even to the point where you're like, you know, you're not even able to, to get downloads from the universe because you're not using not only your gut, but this is my, this is my dream card where you dream new ideas come in your dreams because the iguanas, the lizards, all of those uh, little beautiful little guys are all about dream state. So this individual is not even dreaming because of such anxiety and competition they're feeling in the world. It doesn't have, we don't have any cups here. We don't have any pentacles yet. So this is all about navigating your life, not needing to see, but to feel your way through a decision the universe is saying, use your third eye, use your intuition. It's the circle, the circle of life. And it's also something that you has been weighing heavily. I'm hearing on you. It's, it's a heavy burden. This, this is a heavy burden. Okay. All right. On the bottom of the deck. Now we have the cups. Well, this makes much sense because why? Because what you wanted has not been available to you, all right? We have the Four of Cups, which is, that is the one cup, the one cup that you're dreaming of has not, is not gonna happen because why? The cups are reversed. So this individual is, fighting against themselves due to the fact that that one love, that one love of whatever, the one love, the one idea, you know, that, that one got away. So now, and it, and, and because maybe of competition, okay, maybe someone else won the fight and we're not happy about it. Okay. Then let's go, let's go a little deeper into our deck, okay? All right. What's, this is, this is huge grief. It's huge. Why do I say it's huge? It's huge because we have both the four of cups reversed and we have the three of swords, which is, a feeling of being stabbed in the heart, you know? I mean, like, what the heck just happened? This is this is what I wanted. This is what I hoped for. And now it's gone. So my heart hurts. I'm, I, I, I feel like it's been a competition. Someone was left out in the cold. Someone was not chosen here, for sure. Not chosen, did not get the one they wanted. And it happens. And, you know, someone waited a long time and waited and waited and it just didn't happen. 
okay? So a new, a new pathway for a new life was not, was not had, has, is not going to be because of this upset. Look it, look it, still, still upset. See? So this is huge. Like, all right, our, our whole world, our whole foundation, our whole security and stability is, has been shaken up. And that's why we saw, that's why we saw the, the volcanic eruption in the back of this card. Okay. This, I'm hearing, you're just at your wit's end, you know? Just at your wit's end. In sorrow. I don't know. Let's, yeah. Everything looked good at one point. Everything was beautiful. Look, everything was growing. Everything was stable. Everything was great. It was, there was peace and happiness here. And then, you can see, right? What happened? I don't know why the devil is in the details. I don't know what that means. I just heard it. So upset, not being able to move forward, waited a long time, ended up getting left out in the cold by a decision that was probably made that, that was it, the decision was that you were not chosen. Now, I know it's going to sound like a cliche, but when you're not chosen and you have the judgment card here, I'm going to tell you right now, the universe saw something that you are not, obviously, with the understanding, the universe knows why this had to happen. It always does. So cry the tears, feel the feelings. Try to really get into your feelings because you need to, you really do need to uh, get through to the other side of, of that, of all of this, which is healing. Okay. And understanding that God is dealing with the details. You're feeling like it's the devil's in the details, right? You're feeling because you didn't get your, you didn't get what you wanted, right? You didn't get that one cup. You're feeling the devil's in the details. But in actuality, it's God saved you from, from that, that. Seriously. We have three people here. Clearly, there was a, one person had to go. I mean, okay. Let's get clarifying cards on this day. See? You had to face something very real. Someone had to really face something very real. And the, the situation is that the real, the feelings that you're feeling is not... Um, not so much that, you know, you're just, you've been indecisive and you lost the race, you know? That's enough. It's, it's also something that I feel that after that seven of pentacles, you were waiting for that, for this to happen. Maybe it's been seven years that you were hoping that something would transpire or, you know, you've been waiting for a long time for some, for this person, this, this, it, it is someone. It's that one cup that you've been waiting for. And or someone's been waiting for you. If you're the king of wands, which is, again, Aries, Leo, Sag. You had competition. And whether you know it or not, this indecision has brought grief and sorrow. Okay? And, and God's got your back, even though you don't, you know, you're not feeling it right now. There was deception for sure. You know, you, you and I both know that too many people in stirring, even there's four people here I just saw, 
So there's a lot of people that initiated a lot of turmoil, competition, aggression, people telling you what to do, people telling you not what to not what not to do. And you got to the point where you were like, oh my God, just stop, leave me alone because I have to deal after so long, I have to deal with this pain. Let me just be in my pain. Pain turns to aggression, right? It's part of the healing process. Pain turns to aggression. After you, after an upset, a death, a mourning, this is not a death, but I'm saying after a death-like situation, what happens? After all the sorrow comes aggression, comes anger, comes, in, comes a feeling of injustice being done comes a point of then what do we do after the grief and the pain? We judge people. We judge those who, who have stabbed us in the back. We judge those people for sure. Oh, they're too big for their britches. Oh, they're, they think they're all, all that, you know? Because then we're trying to justify the means, okay? All right, let's get clarifying cards on this situation. And somehow, you need to balance your life out again. Look beyond all this has taken place and see which way and what will balance you out. Because um, it is, this is a, this is a path where balance is needed. This is the only way you can balance yourself out. See, because really, think about it. Feel it, actually. Don't think about it. Feel your way through. This is a five and a one. It's a six. So you need to balance your emotions because you're out of control. That's what the universe is asking you to do right now. Okay. Your crown chakra is what? Blocked. Which, what, what happens when this is obsessive thinking this is disassociating yourself from reality. This is ego. This is no not getting sleep. Like I said, you're not getting any downloads because you're not sleeping. It's about being narrow-minded. And now you're at a point where in your reality, now you're like, well, I don't give, I don't give a crap. I don't care. Let them do whatever they want. That's what happens after grief. After grief, we get aggressive. So you may be in the second part of the grieving process because you're still innate. You, you are still grieving the loss. And this had to happen. I'm telling you, this had to happen. Understand, this had to happen. It's all an illusion. And what has happened and what has hurt you and what you are feeling right now, understand it. Try to... Try to feel it in order to understand why it happened. Take responsibility for the way you feel. Right? And this is, that's why I, I think that's why um, I heard to be or not to be. Really. To be or not to be. Someone came in and said, I don't think so. You know, this is not to put, this is not to put salt on the wound. This is not the reading for that. This is a reading that for whoever this applies to, you need to understand what the process of grief is so that you can absorb it, feel it, really feel it. Like, intuition is prime here because you kind of knew this was going to happen. You did because we have the seven of pentacles. If you couldn't make a decision, the universe made it for you. And, you know, you might have lost out to the competition because of it. We have another seven right here. 
the universe. You had high hopes. You have hopes. You may still have hope, and that's good. Have hope in the future, for sure. Find your hope in the future. Get rid of all that aggression. Start building a new solid foundation for yourself. Now is the time. It's time. Rebuild. Are you rebuilding a relationship? Are you going to try to say, please forgive me? You know, I don't know. Maybe you're going to try to make amends with someone. Maybe you're going to try to beat, still beat out the competition. Bottom of the deck. There we go. This is definitely a love situation that you've been through. You don't want to lose out. You don't want to, you've, you've invested a lot of time, effort, money, you know, I, I wish I, honestly, I wish I saw more cups here because now I'm seeing this, I'm feeling this more of a financial business deal. Okay. Moving, moving positively forward. Okay. So the transformation, we've talked, we've seen this transformation card after a struggle. Okay, so you're going to rebuild for sure. I don't know if you're rebuilding, though, because of the material. The, see, I think it's because of money. I really do. I think I'm, I have to tell you how I feel. Maybe you're trying to rebuild just because this is more of a financial exchange. Yeah, you're, you're in charge, you're large in, in charge, but I think that the struggle has transformed you. Okay, we do have the transformation card. Moving forward, you have put a lot of time, effort, and definitely money into a relationship that you don't want to see crumble. So you're going to try to rebuild this after someone said, I'm done, I'm done, right? Someone said, I'm done, I don't want... I don't feel this way anymore for you. And you're not, you're saying, let me prove to you that I've changed. Someone is saying, just give me another chance. Let me prove it to you. And the other person is saying, I'm not feeling it. And, and understand, please understand. Is this a feeling of your ego talking? And I have to tell you how I'm hearing this. I'm hearing that this might be the deal that you're worried about is a deal of, hold on, I'm trying to get my cards here. I feel this, this is a business deal in a marriage. That's how I feel. I feel like you have transformed. You do want to start over. You have great hope for this union to not completely crumble, even though there is no passion, no drive. Someone's definitely lost their, you know, lost that loving feeling, right? Trust your gut that this is true, that is this is you who have lost that loving feeling. Someone's going to come to you and say, you know, and I really feel it's a material, it's a decision of finances. Someone doesn't want to lose out on that. But is it the love of your life? Let's get these three cards. See? Someone was out there hitting it and quitting it. Yep. And that's what happened. I'm telling you right now. We got this card yesterday. Three's a crowd. Yep. Yep. There was definitely, and don't fall in love with potential. All right, so you have to really use your intuition, guys. Whoever this is, okay, someone is going to be asked to try again. We are in retrograde. It's, you know, I mean, it's going to happen. Retrograde brings out all the skeletons and from the, you know, from the past. You need to really 
use your intuition here. Someone had three people. There was competition. Is it you? Is it the other person? Doesn't matter. Someone wants to rebuild a, a union with you based upon what? Is it love? Because personally, I don't see a lot of cups here that are upright, right? What I see here is the money. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose. I don't want to lose you. But in between these is I don't want to lose, my, lose the money that I've invested. If this is a marriage and you've been married for a long time with someone, yeah, it makes sense. You don't want to have to go through a divorce because what? It's going to happen. So someone went out into in a third party situation. They hit it and quit it. And now someone's faced with the reality of uh, someone coming to you and saying, I want a second chance. And it's only potential. This is a potentially, it's either faded or it's going to fail. That's what this reading is all about. It really is to be or not to be. Have a great day.